Okay, next up we have LDAP, and LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, and as the name implies, it's used for accessing directories. Okay, so it's an X.500 directory protocol, that's what it's based off of, and it utilizes TCP IP, and it uses TCP and UDP ports 389. So if you're looking for firewall rules and firewall rules to implement, to keep things either within your organization, or if you have to have people that access LDAP from outside your organization, then of course ports 389 and perhaps some additional ports as well would need to be open on the firewall. So as I mentioned, it's used to query information about the directory. And that could be Microsoft Active Directory, Novell eDirectory, <laughs> if there's anybody still using that, uh, and those types of things, right? So it basically allows a very hierarchical structure for you to quickly query different types of resources within that environment, whether it be users, printers, servers, and so forth. So if we look at LDAP in a little more detail, as I mentioned, LDAP is a hierarchical structure, and it's made up of a number of subcomponents. Some of those are things like a CN, or common name, an OU, or organizational unit, and then DC, or domain component. All right, so let's look at how they kind of flush out. So as we see here, we have a hierarchical structure. We have our domain component up top. We have OUs below. And then below the OUs, they may contain other OUs, or they may contain common names, which are the actual resources, whether it be a user, a printer, and so forth. So if I expand that even a little further, we can see we have the hierarchical structure. We have PSite Web up top, all right, Domain Component, PSite Web, Domain Component, Local. And then OU Locations, and below that we have OU Atlanta, below that we have OU Computers and Users, and below that, in that OU Marked Users, we have Common Names, and again, that's Individual Users. If you look at it from an Active Directory perspective, you can see we have our PSite web local, or dot local. Below that we have locations, below that we have Atlanta, and below that we have users. And below that, under the users OU, is where the common name CREES is located. You can see it's broken down into a folder structure. So if we look at the entire LDAP distinguish name, you'll see distinguish name is CN equals CREES, comma, OU equals users, comma, OU equals Atlanta, comma, OU locations, comma, Domain component P site web, comma, domain component local. And if you'll notice, there are commas between each of these subcomponents, and that's the layout or the structure of a LDAP distinguished name. 